And let's check what you got in the back here. The good news is that everything is done inside this refrigerator, right. so we don't have to do anything except to connect this to a cold water line somewhere in the building. So here's the stove. This is pretty interesting. You've got two holes in the floor. Now that could be good news. Let's go to the basement and find out. We're underneath where the stove is. And all right, here's those two holes right there for the old washing machine. It looks like an abandoned hot water line right here. And look at this. Here's the cold water line with a shutoff valve. I mean, this is too easy. This is a transition fitting to go from half inch copper to our quarter inch compression tubing connection. And we're going to solder that on right there. Okay, let's get started by cleaning this pipe. So take that emery cloth, you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and go right on top. Now I'm going to hold this pipe so it doesn't shake too much. Now go back and forth and start cleaning it up. We're just in one spot, you don't have to go too far. Really get going now, okay? Now you got to come and reverse your hands and so you work upwards now. There you go. We want to clean this pipe so that the solder will actually take. And it has to be perfectly clean all the way around. All right, now we're going to cut the pipe with a tubing cutter. Okay, that's getting ready to... There it is, good. All right, now with that cut, now we need to clean that fitting. So you got a wire brush, turn it clockwise. Yeah, keep going, really get it clean. Now check inside. Looks Nice good. and shiny. Okay, so now we need to apply flux to both the fitting. Do we need to do that to the other pipe? Yeah, and to the pipe. So there's some flux, I don't want too much in there. And then to the pipe. Okay, they're both fluxed. We put the fitting on the pipe and we're ready to solder. Now one of the tricks to soldering is to apply the heat at the exact opposite side of where you'll apply the solder because the heat will draw the solder to it. So I want to wait till that bubbles a bit. And there, it draws right across. Okay, so now we need our new fitting to get a little Teflon tape. Put about three wraps on that. Be generous, we don't want any leaks. Okay. All right, so now we thread this in, and I need a pair of pliers. You got one? Okay. Now, as I tighten these up, I want you to hold back right here on this old pipe again so it doesn't shake. Okay. Okay, and I want to hold back with a wrench here. Come on, there we go. And now I want to go clockwise, and you don't want to mangle the threads. You want to be nice and okay. gentle, but firm. One more time around. And finally, I'll get it so it's pointing straight up. All right, right there. And I want you to run upstairs and just drop me that supply line that's hung on the back of the refrigerator, right? Okay. Now, let me show you what we got here, Joe. Here's a nut. There's a cone shape adapter right here. This is called a ground joint connection. Just throw me a little of that pipe dope. I want just a tiny bit of sealant on there, not too much, a little bit of insurance. Okay, and now we go down in here, and now we make up that nut without crossing the thread. Make the nut hand tight, two wrenches. I want you to hold back right there. Okay. I'll hold back right here. You don't want to over tighten, but it wants to be nice and snug. go. Okay. So now we'll turn the water back on. There it is. I hear it going up there. Sounds good. All right. Up to the kitchen. Let's see how we did. So grab that glass. Okay. Come right to the dispenser here. Yes. Hey, that's not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Mm -hmm.